Hey, what's up, guys? All right, we're um, out and about again. Another Devil's Peak release. Um, I'm really starting to enjoy these. It's like starting to get excited about every couple of months they drop something. And uh, this time it's the Imperial Cafe Racer Port, uh, Imperial Porter. So it's like, it's gonna be a nice strong port. I think it's 9%. Um, so I'm very excited for that, it being winter and everything, it's going to be awesome. Also this is a collaboration series, so it's uh, with Fierce Beer, um, so yeah, check them out, and yeah, we're off to Beer House. Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of South African Craft Beer Tasting. Alright, um, today we've got a really special one, like I said, we're doing the Imperial Cafe Racer by Devil's Peak, and it's a collab with Fierce Beer, and uh, yeah, I've just arrived at Beer House Four Ways, and uh, yep. They just brought it over. Let's take a look at what it looks like in the can there. Alright, that's it right there. It's a, as usual, awesome design with their collab series with this sort of snakes and ladders type look. Um, and this is exciting for me because it's a coffee vanilla porter and it's imperial. Um, it's sitting at around 9% they say there, 9%. So that's super, super, super exciting. I love a big beer as I've always said. And this should tickle the boxes. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and pour it, then we'll talk about the style and get in there. Alright, cool, I've poured it, and that's exactly what it looks like right there. Um, hopefully you can see in the light here. And uh, that's what I'd expect, a nice dark color like that. It's got like a, a sort of a light brown tan head. Looks very, very tasty. Alright. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get into the style. All right, guys, this is, um, it's an Imperial Porter. So basically that means it's a Porter with a higher ABV. Um, and as you can expect with Porters, you're gonna get some toasted notes, sort of uh, bread crust, burnt, uh, burnt bread crust type vibes going on. And um, the hop bitterness and hop flavor in general won't be too, um, too high. It's just gonna be relaxed on that tip, I think. A little bit malt forward as you probably expect. Um, but also this is this beer's got coffee and vanilla in it and uh, it's got coffee by its Legado Burundi Heza Gishubi I don't know how to pronounce any of those words um, but that's I'm just reading it off the can there and it's so some really nice coffee in there and they've also got vanilla in there and lactose for a little bit of mouthfeel there's also oats um, so yeah with with the oats again mouthfeel and uh, it's gonna you know really tastes quite nice and creamy I hope um, yeah but that's a style in a nutshell and um, yeah it, let's face it anything Imperial is always gonna taste good because they're ramping up the malts and uh, making a bigger beer which I'm a really a real big fan of all right um, here it is let's go go ahead and give it a smell oh, I'm getting some lovely coffee right off the top there Mm. Touch my beard there a little bit, but um, straight away getting coffee. It's actually a nice, uh, deep uh, coffee. A tiny hint of vanilla, and then those nice toasty, uh, toasty uh, burnt crust type vibes that I expect. That's a fantastic smell. Um, and yeah, let's let's get straight into the tasting and see what we find out. Oh man, that is just stunning. That's I'm gonna have to give it another one before I give any kind of an opinion. All right, straight away I can taste that nice high ABV. It's a nice punch of of uh, with, in terms of the alcohol. And what a lot of people don't know about the way alcohol works, alcohol really does add flavor. Go ahead and try like a 2% um, beer and then go ahead and try a 9% beer and you'll just notice there's a massive difference in flavor. I believe anything under 3% and you start really getting boring, boring beers. So yeah, that punch of alcohol inside such a nice uh, character full beer is fantastic. Do I taste the coffee? Heck yes, I taste a lot of coffee in this. Um, and it's got a really rich 
flavor to it. It's not just um, a hint of coffee. That's really nice. Oh, that's absolutely delicious. It just packs such a punch. This um, is obviously uh, limited and uh, it's a winter, obviously a, a winter uh, seasonal type beer. Perfect thing for winter. Also in terms of food pairings, just from what I'm getting off the top here of the taste, um, you know, you could go with anything bride, any bride food, barbecued food for those of you overseas. Um, and uh, not only that, um, things like uh, roasted, again, roasted foods, any of your nice rich uh, flavored foods like that will go well. Even some oysters, if you're into your oysters, I think this will be a super treat with some oysters. I can definitely get that I can sort of pick up the, the oats and the lactose it's just letting it roll and round off on my tongue the flavor just rounds off and it's not too biting which is good when you use these dark malts um, it can get a little biting if you're not careful with your pH levels and also um, your your what you're adding in your additives or your your um, specialty grains so adding some oats and lactose is definitely helping round off any kind of uh, biting flavors from the dark uh, molds. Mm. That's delicious, right? I love this beer straight off the top. I love it. Uh, I don't even have to drink more of it to know that. Um, also, another thing, I did get the Devil's Peak um, press drop this morning. This is my first time of being part of the press drop, so thanks to Devil's Peak for that. It's really, you know, it's really just nice to be. Uh, noticed for putting out the videos and you know guys like Devil's Peak doing it just makes it all worthwhile okay guys um yeah in terms of ratings uh, you, as you probably know by now that my rating system is uh, one to five uh, one being uh, pretty terrible and five being absolutely overwhelming and amazing um, all right so I've had a couple of tastes of this And yeah, I'm going to go ahead straight away and I'm going to give this a, a four and a half out of five. Uh, if you watch my videos, you'll probably know that for me, I'm pretty much, if it's, if it's not great, I'm going to tell you. I've had a few ones. I've had some beers that I've given zero because they were just ghastly. I could barely drink them. I'd rather be honest with brewers and let maybe help them in a way by giving honest feedback than keep, you know, pandering and, you know, pretending everything's perfect in a perfect world when it's really not like that and especially not with beers um, yeah so easy four and a half for these guys I really really like this uh, this porter so shout out the guys at Devil's Peak and shout out Fierce uh, Fierce Brewing, Fierce Beers um, I'll definitely follow you guys on Twitter I don't think I follow you at the moment but yeah guys follow them follow Devil's Peak Fant another fantastic beer with all the hype as they usually do with Devil's Peak congrats guys Alright guys, well, you know, thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. To just let me know that you're watching my videos and, uh, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, also, you know, hit the like button. It always helps. It also shows, you know, that you guys are enjoying it. Uh, follow Devil Speak on Facebook and Twitter. Follow me on, on Twitter. And, uh, yeah, cheers. Cheers.